hello guys welcome back in this tutorial i am going to explain how you can develop push notification system using php and mysql guys first we will see a demo how the system will work actually here uh, the system will be accessed by logged in user the admin user like here we have admin if you the admin user will be able to access the system to manage notification like here the administrator can uh, log in as admin and can manage the notification here like create new notification uh, by giving title name master name the broadcast time loop time and the notification of every time means loop of every time and the user forward this is assigned if the this is assigned to the user the notification display to the, that user so this is the system and when the user that have assigned that notification will uh, log in then that notification will be displayed to that user so that's the system so now we will see the first uh, database what the database of this system so here we have a database actually i, I, I already created the notification system here in which we have uh, two tables here actually uh, we have two tables one is a notification user the other one is notification the notification user table will contain the uh, log information of the user uh, that to manage the notification and also the user that will see the notification when log into the system so here actually we have a very simple table like id primary auto increment username and password actually so uh, there is also one table notification actually that we are going to manage so notification table has id primary auto increment title title of the notification message of the notification uh, so time that uh, to publish the notification and actually the time that in the create time of the notification and the repeat uh, how many time the uh, repeat system and repeat uh, means how many times uh, on every time the system will repeat and the uh, uh, how many loops there to to display the message means how many times the message should be displayed to the user and the publish days means the how uh, what the time of publishing the notification to the uh, user when that user logged in and also the username the assigned username that uh, the user who see the notification so that is the structure of our table so now we have a database structure and now we will see the code how we will implement this actually uh, you are seeing here actually the system will be accessed by the logged in user the system will be accessed by the logged in user so now we first see the how system uh, login will be implemented so first we will see the login functionality here actually we are seeing the login button here when the login button is clicked the login dot php file display so so now first we will see the index dot php here actually here we have a already created the project like push notification php here we have a index dot php file actually we will see first see the structure of the database of our of our uh, notification system so here we have a class directory in which we have a notification.php class that have a method to handle the functionality of notification and the user.php class in which we have a method to implement the functionality of user like logged in user and also we have a config directory in which we have a common files like we have a uh, database.php in which we have a function uh, get connection in which we are making the connection to the MySQL database and the other one is INC directory in which we have a common file like header, footer, container.php that's calling on on pages. And we have a JS directory in which we have a notification.js file in which uh, we are handling the functionality, the Ajax functionality, and also JS functionality to managing the uh, and displaying the notification to the user. And uh, we have a PHP files on root like index.php, login PHP, logout, manage, and notification. So now we have a uh, index.php so first we will see the index.php in which we have a login button here you can see we have a login button here uh, the login button is given here if you just logged in we will display the logout this this otherwise is the login details so this is the page that we are seeing on the first time so when the index.php loaded the login button will be displayed when we click on login button the login.php will be called so here we have a login.php file this is the login.php file in which we have a login form here like this is the login form in which we have 
input type username uh, type input type username and then we have a input type password and then we have submit button so this is the our login dot php file in the login when the login form is submitted like here then we have a username on session here we are storing that username into the if we are already actually this is login method when the login method is called when the form is submitted the login method is called the login method is already implemented in now we'll see the login method this is called it you are seeing in the user object so now we will see the user.php class here this is the user.php class here in which we are we have implemented the message related to user so here we have a login method. so actually this is the user.php class so the this class is here included before this there is a data database.php class called for making the connection here the object of database class created and then the create connection function called to make the connection to the db is and the uh, connection here so this is the connection passed to the user class as a constructor and we have a user object then we are uh, setting the form value like username password to the user object and then calling the login method so now we will see the login method here this is the login method here here we are uh, we have a select query and then passing the username and password and executing the query here and getting the result and return the result here so actually uh, here we are checking actually the method is returning the result if, if there is no valid login then the result is false so here if the login is successful then we are storing the username to the session username and redirecting to the index.php otherwise we, we are displaying the invalid username and password so now we will log into the system here we will log in using the admin login here we have admin user and we have a password so now we are logging successfully to the system so i am redirecting to the index.php here you are seeing that we are redirect to the index.php if the login is successful so we are here index.php now you are seeing the here logged in admin username logout button these are giving here you can see here these are username we are displaying the username here and logout button this is the and logout button actually this is the index.php here so here we are displaying the username this is the username and then logout button so this is this information is displayed on the index.php here now we have a link manage notification so here we will manage the notification here all the notifications are created from here and these we will listed here and when the notification will be created then these are assigned to the user and will be displayed to that user when that user will be logged in so now the management of the notification is handled on manage.php so now we will see the manage.php file here so this is the manage.php file here in which again we are including the database.php class notification.php class and user.php class so actually now we will also see the notification.php class in which we are implementing the methods to handle the notification functionality here so this is the notification class here so here we are managing the uh, including the database.php for making the database connection we here we are making the database connection then we are including the notification.php and user.php we are making the creating the object notification object user object to call the method of these classes to handle the functionality here so now uh, we have a page here in which we are displaying the logged in user like here button home logout.php so you are seeing here uh, here we, we are seeing here the form like here home button and the logout button and then here we have a form to create notification so here we have a form this is the form and in which we have a title input type text message text area broadcast time and time loop time and every minus all the, uh, this is a list of the time and for each user the notification will be created so here is the list of all users so this is the form of creating the uh, notification here and also when the new notification is created then all these will be displayed here actually these uh, the form submission is handling here we are checking the form submission and then checking if the there is a message and time loop and every two and then 
uh, we are getting the form notification form post values and setting the notification here here is the notification object and we are setting the value to the attribute like title place and time repeat and loop username username all these values will be set to the notification object then we will call the notification save notification method if the value saved successfully then we are displaying the message save new notification successfully otherwise we display the error save data if the all parameters are all fields are not inputted then we display the completed the complete the parameter so this is the form submission functionality we are handling so here we have calling the same notification message so we will see that this message here this is the same notification in which we are we have an insert query to insert the notification into the insert table uh, here we are passing the placeholder for all field then we have a prepare query statement then bind params here like title message and time repeat time and loop user all these will be bind here pass as a place where and then we are executing the query so here we are executing the query to save the uh, values when the values are saved then we display these values uh, on the page here like the notification list we are displaying the notification list here so here you can see we have a table here and then we will we are calling the method list notification here so here is list notification you can see here this is a list notification method in which we are getting the all notification details and listing here so then uh, here we have get the all list of notification and then loop through and then we are displaying the list of this so this is the this is a list here so now we will uh, create the new notification here like my new notification one this is the new notification and block watch time now loop time two and loop every five minutes and now assign to web then and then we have created this so this is the created like here this is the created here now we have created the new notification here you can see here new notification is created but uh, the displaying the notification five times is here remains because the user is not yet logged in so now we will see the functionality that notification are displayed to the user actually this is the minus here we have done so now when the user logged in logged in user then like when user is logged in like uh, we have a index.php file and then we have a notification.js actually here the main functionality handles the not in notification if a page is loaded we are checking if id logged in actually we will see the we will see this how this will be handled so we will open the index.php and here we have logged in actually in index.php we have a checking if the username such an username and username is not law admin other username is not admin then we are uh, adding the id logged in to the page and the notification.js checking if the logged in id e exists then we call the method get notification and we also call the method on the set time interval here uh, on every two seconds so here uh, we have a get notification uh, function in js and checking if not notification actually if notification is not supported by the browser then we display the message otherwise we have checked the permissions if your permission not required then we uh, request the permissions from the user in browser otherwise we make the ajax request to the notification.php and here we have a request and then we are getting the actually here we have a response actually uh, there is a notification.php file uh, you, you can see here this is the notification.php file 
in which in which we have uh, created the database connection here get connection then uh, we have a notification object and then we have a session username and get the result get notification by user id actually so we will uh, get here the this is the method here implemented in which we are getting the notification by url by logged in user here like here we have a uh, select query and then uh, we have a placeholder for username here we are passing the username and getting the result getting the all notification here for the logged in user we will get the all notification then we have a loop here and create the notification here actually notification design here we are getting the details of notification and designing the notification details here and then we have displayed that passed to the adjacent request and also we have updated the notification actually we are here updating the how many times repeat actually we we, uh, we will uh, update the repeat times actually if one time uh, displayed then we decrement that value and and it will be displayed to the given loops so now we will return the array like here notif count result and these arrays will be returned as a json encode here so when the request is made from the ajax query made from the here this come here and get the response here Resp response is getting from the notification.php and the response is here then we will implement the functionality of, of the on the response result actually here response result is returned you can see the response result is true if there is a response result is true then we are handing the functionality of notification by notification here by creating object of notification and then we all set the icon messages title actually we have all the details of response and then we uh, display uh, the actually uh, pass the notification url all details will be passed to the notification like no, uh, icon message title all these details are passed to the notification and display displayed in the browser now we will see how this is working actually i have already created here the notification this this is the notification i have already created uh, to the web dam now we will log in using the web dam user here so this is the web dam user and log in and see uh, we have uh, some notification here like when we click on this you can see this is the new notification my new notification one actually we have already created this we have created this and the notification is displayed here you can see the notification in this way this is a previous this is a yeah we have given the no, uh, repeat and this is uh, repeated again so this is repeated again and again on the given loops so you can see uh, here so it's work according to the uh, given uh, details of the notification here so you can see here the values of uh, remains actually displayed three times it still uh, remains to display for the two times so uh, this is also again displayed you can see here this is displayed again like now is displayed three times so guys you have seen it's a very interesting project uh, to create a new notifications by administrator user and assign to the user to display when that user logged into the browser so i i hope guys uh, you will enhance this using your project to make it uh, more powerful more user, user friendly so I hope guys you have enjoyed the tutorial and you will try this at your end to make the complete system. So I don't forget to like and share this tutorial and also subscribe our channel. Thank you.